Okay, guys. All right. Um. Next up, mods. So, a lot of people have questions about how to do mods, what's the best to do with mods, etc., etc., etc. So, mods are they're pretty simple. It's not overcomplicating them is the key. So we're going to go in here. We're going to look at some of the choices I have, some of the things I have going on with mine, et cetera, et cetera. This would be more ideal to do um, once they have an event of to remove the, uh, the mods for free. But for now, this will do. All right. So, um, with your defense team, obviously, you're going to want to put on extra health and defense onto your characters. Now, if you're like me and you use some of those characters in your um, your attack and your defense team, then you need to mix it up and get a little bit more creative. So, um, this is one of the attack teams I use. This is the defense I use. This is another attack team I use. And there's a couple more. So, basically what I do is, as you can see, let's use Eris for example. I use my Eris as both attack and defense. And so let's go grab her. Um, all right, this is the one. So with her, I've made sure that she's got added attack and added health because I use her on both sides. So I want her to have that extra boost of, boost of health, but I also need her to have a better attack as well. So it's really combining as much as you can into one. So you want to up their attack, their defense, and their health if you're capable of doing that. The easiest way to do that is obviously to make sure you have a complete set. So either Here's your attack stat, your defense, stat, your health, and then your crit. All right. So obviously with her, I went with her, um, the health attack, the health stat. And so then I put on an added attack. Then I put on even more health. Then I want to put an added attack versus strong because I don't have... Um, I don't have the defense against strong, which would be mo most ideal here. Then because she's attack, I put bleed on attack. And then because she's also yellow and most of our confuse is still from Shiva, I put a confuse resist. Now the worst thing that changed more and more, especially with um, some reds out there there's a, and blue, there's confuse is going all the way around. So it's good to have on them no matter what. Now with Zeke, I have him set up because his he has Guardian, right? So we have Guardian. When this character performs a critical attack on an enemy, they will apply a damage negating shield on two allies with, of the lowest HP. Which means that when they get a critical hit in, they're going to go ahead and shoot out a shield on the two people, right? So they're basically a shield that doesn't shield all five. It's one hell of a thing, right? We've talked about it a couple of times. Now, with that being said, because we want her, him to have, obviously, a ton of crit, we're going to make sure that the crit set, we're going to use that, okay? So the crit damage set is what you definitely want to use in this. Now, of course, if you tap this down here, the active set, if you see right down at the bottom next to him, active set, this is where you can pull up all of the information that you need. And I have a, um, a video on this as well that goes through all of this. But you clearly, you know, get the gist. You can go through here, read it all, go over it. It's got some decent information on it. Um, but it's helpful. Either way, it is. It, it's helpful to be able to see and look at what what's going on now um some of the things that i find interesting is like this so you have burning right here's burning with a bronze it's 59 to 125 with a silver it's 93 to 195 and then with gold is 156 to 300 i mean get up to 100 percent on defense while stunned 
Um, let's see, where is the one I was just looking here's bleeding 950 to 200. So that's what we have, um, we had with Eris, right? So if we go back to her, she has 166 bleed on attack. So if we go back in here and look, she can get up to 200. So I don't know what we have to do to get to that 200, but I don't have one that does 200. So I just know it's maxed out and there, that's where it landed. No idea. You know, I can push the eye on it and it just says bleed on attack. I, I really don't understand if it's just kind of like a roll of the dice or whatnot. But anyway, so we have, that's the one way. Then, of course, with your ones that have Guardian, you're going to want them to have extra crit. Always, always, always. So again, I put on attack, health, and then I had a def uh, defense for strong with the crit then AP drain, and then burn resist. And so then that gives him that critical damage bonus, right? So honestly, it really is just thinking. Just think, what will this character do better at? Where are they lower at? You can also compare them to your other characters, which I'll show you in a second. All right, so with um, Wyatt, I use him almost exclusively with attack. So we obviously put on more attack, more health, but more attack for strong because a, that's what I had at the time to use. Um, burn on attack, 218, and then burn resist, and a 61% on that, all right? So it really is just saying, okay, which, which way are we going to go with this? Most people are going to tell you that with your defense team, if you do not use them as attack, so none of the characters on your defense team are for any of your attack teams. They're solely defense. You're going to want to put defense and health on them, 100%. If you use them for attack and defense, I would go with attack and health. Um, if you use them solely for attack, I would put as much attack on there and health as much as possible but mainly attack because if you hit hard enough, you're not going to have to worry about them hitting back. So I would definitely focus on those. And then defense is always a given too. But when I say compare, I mean compare. So come in here and look at it and say, okay, well, Andrea, her health is 140, uh, 1,434, right? Sadiq is 1,795. So she's already a little over 300 lower health than him. Then you can look at um, Tyrese and say, yep, he's at 1684. May is at 1788. Um, these are the gaps that I need to fill. And then go from there, you know, where you need your heavy hits in and where you need them to have more health, more defense, et cetera, et cetera. That's my recommendation to you. I would definitely try to hit at least two stats instead of one, always. Um, try to increase both their attack and their defense or their attack and health. I personally would rather have attack and health over anything else. Um, and then go from there. That's, basic, that's about all that's it. You want to, of course, you um, have as many mods on as many people as you can when it comes to swapping out using different teams for attack. Don't forget your tower defense. They need to have mods on them as well. Um, and then survival road that will help as well. So like he, I use very often on survivor road because of his active skill is, uh, all, or his later skill, all fast teammates get plus 36 crit and a huge bonus to AP when attacking. He's great for those level levels on survival road that are all yellow only, right? All fast. And so in that instance, I would want to apply um, extra crit onto him with anything, honestly. It doesn't matter, silver, bronze, gold, any little bit of help will help for now, especially if you don't have it available. So I would definitely look at those options as well. Make sure you're covering all your bases. You have teams to use just in territory, add them there. 
Um, do everything that you can to make sure you just balance them out. But your main focus always wants to be your defense team and your attack team. Once they're taken care of, then go crazy. And then I, every single event that they have, which is usually the couple of hours before war, to remove um, your mods, because when you go to remove them, it's very expensive. <clears throat> Excuse me. So if I wanted to remove this and equip, it's 2500 for just one. So if you did all of them, it adds up fast. And then think about the five characters times that by five. So 12,500 times at least five. Yeah, no, thank you. If you ever do this, by the way, you can just exit it out and um, confirm that you're not going to save it or you can reset it and exit out and you're good to go. Um, that's also the reset is very helpful when you're making them. But every single event, I unequip all of them and I redo them because I've got new mods and I continue to level them up as I get them and just figure out where they're going to go from there. Um, and I've heard that there's some people have the fear of undoing them, thinking that they might screw them up. I've only screwed mine up once, and that's because I have, like, no time left whatsoever, and I was rushing and had forgotten and, and just a dumb mistake. But if you take them off and you take the time to reapply them, because it's zero to apply them, by the way, um, for those of you that don't know that, it is... It costs nothing to apply them onto somebody who has none. Let's actually do Barker. Um, let's do, let's see if I can do anything with this. Um, I got nothing there. Not really anything fantastic to put here, huh? All right, so let's just, I mean, I really don't care. So say we do that, right? If we were to go along with this to apply it, spend zero. And then you confirm it and it's no big deal. I'm not going to use that setup. It's a terrible one. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's pretty awful. All right. So that's about it. So you want to go ahead and fill in the gaps. Make sure that you have the health and the attack on them. Extra health and defense for your defense team if they're strictly defensed characters. If you're using them for attack, got to mix that up a little bit. You can make it where some are just health and defense, um, and then some have attack and health. It really, you just have to look at it and use your best judgment. And then, yeah, I take them off every single time and redo them, and... They just seem to get better and better and better. And then when I do redo them, I have seen that every war I'm defending more and more once I redo them and apply the new ones I've gotten. So it's a big deal. Just remember who you want to, you know, who you've got where. You know, my heiress, I put a ton of health and attack on her because she's a badass character I love. And I use her in both teams on my attack and my defense, no matter what attack team I'm using, she's in there. Um... And then with Tyrese, I don't use him in my defense. I just use him in my attack and, and one of my attack teams. So if I need a blue, I use him. And so I put a lot of attack on him. Those are the things that you want to be mindful of as you're going through. Just pay attention to who you haven't done yet, who your most important characters are. Take care of them first. So take care of your defense first, then go to your main attack team, then go to your secondary attack team, your third attack team, your tower team, um, and then your territory teams, and then your survival road team. Just go right there, just straight through that way, and you won't screw it up. And any questions, always, always ask. That's what I'm here for. All right, guys, that's it for this one. I hope it was helpful. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, please leave them below. I always get back to you. I know I'm not awesome at the timing always, but I promise I will always, always come back. Um, also, I am so, so ridiculously close to hitting a thousand subscribers. 
if we can make that happen, oh God, I'd be so grateful. So you guys hit that subscribe button. Next to it is a little bell. You can hit that as well. And that will alert you to every video I get or that I upload. Um, if you don't want those alerts, you don't have to. You can check me out when you want to. Um, subscribing won't ping you every single time that I put a video up. So please, please, please subscribe. And don't forget, like, share, and uh, let's get these out there to help more and more people. All right, have a great day, guys. I hope everyone's doing awesome. Thanks again. Subscribe.